Hi, my name's Lauren from Edsoft and today we're going to look at the different databases that are included in Inspire Data. Inspire Data is a software program created by Inspiration and it's used to help improve data literacy in students. Inspire Data helps students visualise data without the need for equations or different programming skills as you would to grab a graph in Excel. Now, you can import any Excel database, but today we're going to look at some of the pre-made ones that are here that students can start to look at to develop their data literacy skills. If we go into science, and as you can see, there's lots of different ones that you can use straight away. So if, today we're going to look at dinosaurs, because they're quite a fun thing to look at. And up comes our basically like our Excel spreadsheet. You can see that we've got our dinosaur names, the group they're from, the period, the continent location, their length, their height, how heavy they were, how they walked, were they a carnivore, a herbivore or an omnivore, their teeth, their diet and how many millions of years ago they lived. Now this is a lot of different information especially for students with reading difficulties and there's some questions here which says what teeth variations occur for herbivores? And is there any correlation between weight and walking on two versus four legs? So there's some basic lesson plan ideas that you can start to use with this. Now, students could answer it by looking at it in this format, but the best way is probably to switch to plot view. And if we go to our plot view, you can see that there's all our different dinosaurs. And this doesn't give us very much information at all. So Let's go down here to switch to access plot and I want to look at whether there's a, a link between the type of carnivore, herbivore, so, and how much they weighed. So let's have a look. And as you can see, and it's really easy for students to see straight away that the, there is a bit of a link that the heaviest dinosaur was a herbivore. There it is up here all by itself. And that the omnivores really did not weigh that much. So it was mostly mostly herbivores that had the large amounts of weight. And it's really easy to look at that in this format. And we didn't have to start to program it. Now this is not the only way that we can look at things in Inspire Data. We can move to a pie plot and we can look at the different fields. So if I want to look at, well, where did dinosaurs live across the world? In what continents? If I click on continent location, our little dinosaurs move around and we can see that the majority of dinosaurs actually lived in North America. And poor old Australia here, we had one dinosaur. Well, you know, we have kangaroos and lots of other things, so I suppose it's not too bad. And we can also do Venn plot. So if I look here and I want to I want to look at the continent location and I'd like to look at okay, was there any that lived in Asia that also lived in Australia? Now we know there's only one in Australia, so let's see. If I go continent location Australia Oh look, and there's none that lived in Asia and Australia, and that might have been because of the way the plates were and where the different continents were. Or it could be that this little dinosaur over here just really didn't move anywhere else and wasn't living anywhere else. But let's look at, were there any that lived in Asia and Europe that were the same? Again, no, they're not very close together. What if I look at, were there any in Asia that were also herbivores, because that's quite an interesting discussion. And yes, there was. There were three out of this. And so you can see that you can start to get fantastic data literacy skills and students can make wonderful generalizations and get answers really quickly using Inspire Data. Students can also annotate these and put them into slideshows. So I can capture this slide and you can hear my camera there and I can start to create a presentation outlining all my information. And I can add different notes down the bottom here. So if I want to say that there were herbivores, herbivore dinosaurs 
in Asia and I have made that and there's my proof as to how I've managed to get that that understanding and if I want to move back and look at that data again in that form I can straight away I don't need to I can just click and move forward between the two different windows straight away I can add different labels so there we go all of a sudden I can see now excuse my pronunciation that it was the Iguanodon the Pitacosaurus and the Tuchokinosaurus that lived in Asia that were herbivores and I can start to see that information really really simply well I hope you've had a brief outline of some of the pre-made databases that are in Inspire Data. In my next tutorial I'll talk about how you can create an online e-survey for your students and then look at the data. If you'd like any more information on Inspire Data, um, I would love you to go to our website which is www.edsoft.com.au and I look forward to doing another tutorial with you soon.